Hi there. After moving into my new home, tonight was the first time using the Lodge cast iron wok on a gas stove. We made a basic fried rice dish tonight and it turned out wonderful. The gas flame definitely heated the wok more evenly and, dare I say, better than the electric stove I'd had all these years. Best of all, it was very easy to make, as you'll see right now. Properly prepared fried rice needs to use leftover rice, so we're making the rice in advance. And yes, it's necessary to wash the rice. I do this by rinsing the rice as I fill up a bowl, then strain the rice with eight hand movements before emptying the water and repeating this three more times. That didn't really stick either. After washing the rice, use one and a half cups of water for every two cups of rice. Bring it to a boil in an uncovered pot, then cover the pot, lower the heat, and let it simmer for 12 minutes. After that, remove it from the heat and let it rest for another 10 minutes. Uncover the pot and fluff the rice. And that's how to make jasmine rice. After eating some for breakfast, we then store the rice in the refrigerator for the next 12 hours. Because stir-frying is fast, it's crucial to have your prep work done in advance. Here we have our cooked rice, some peas and carrots, garlic and onion, and two eggs. Fortunately, this is a simple stir-fry, and that simply involves chopping the onion and garlic and beating the eggs. And I have to admit, I didn't have fresh ginger, so we'll have to make do with ground ginger in our stir-fry. And with that, we bring out the Lodge cast iron wok and heat it up. Now this wok is a lot heavier than a traditional thin wok and we won't be able to pick it up and toss the food the way you can with a thin wok. So we'll have to be sure the wok is good and hot. And finally it's time to fry hard. First thing we do is scramble the eggs in the wok so we can add them to the stir fry in a few minutes. Then we heat up our oil and add the aromatics, namely onion and garlic. My apologies to everyone in Asia watching this. And now to add the rice. Since the rice is already cooked, we simply need to mix everything together and stir fry it until it's good and hot. For flavoring, we add soy sauce, sesame oil, some white pepper, and just a little bit of MSG to enhance the flavor. Now we add the scrambled eggs. And finally, add the peas and carrots. Then we cover the wok for a couple of minutes to be sure everything is good and hot. And with that, we have our fried rice and we're ready to serve. This entire stir-fry from beginning to end took about 20 minutes. A professional restaurant could have done this stir-fry in less than 5 minutes, but this gas stove certainly doesn't match the blasting propane burners seen in professional restaurants. Even so, it is a considerable step up from electric, and I'm looking forward to many more great stir-fries in this wok on this stove. Thank you for watching.